Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Mr. Jahangir Muhammad, CEO and founder of Jasper and one of the earlier pioneers in IoT or Internet of Things technology. IoT, IoT technology involves embedding computer power and connectivity into even the tiniest aspects of everyday life. Mr. Muhammad recognized this strength earlier than most. He founded Jasper in 2004, four years before IBM began its push to build a smarter planet, and a full eight years before Cisco announced it, its Internet of Everything campaign. Jasper pioneered software enables companies to connect and manage world's machines and things. By doing so, the things and machines provides far better utility for people, the first product of its kind. Over the past decade, Mr. Mohammed has grown Jasper into a global cloud-based IoT platform used by over 10,000 companies to manage millions of connected products and services. About a year ago, Jasper was acquired by Cisco for $1.4 billion, and Jasper is now a foundational technology in Cisco Internet of Things offerings. Among the companies using Jasper's IoT service platform are some of world's leading, including Coca-Cola, General Motors, Amazon Kindle, and General Electronics. Under Mr. Muhammad's leadership, Jasper was selected for the 2015 World Economic Forum Technology Pioneer Award, which recognizes technology companies' impact on business and society. Prior to founding Jasper, Mr. Muhammad co-founded Kineto Wireless Incorporated. Under his leadership, Kineto raised financing from top-tier venture capital firms and pioneered the technology and solution for convergence of Wi-Fi and cellular. That technology became the basis of a GSM world standard. Mr. Mohammed was born in a village in southern India and was the first person to graduate in engineering from that village. Mr. Mohammed is a Concordia alumnus, having received a master's in electrical and computer engineering in 1993. He holds 72 patents in the areas of communication and Internet of Things. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Mr. Jahangir Muhammad so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Science, Honorary Causa. It is a great honor and with great pleasure I ask that Dr. Mohammed address the convocation. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Chairman of the Board, the President of our esteemed university, my dear honored platform guests, my dear graduating students, family and friends. It's a great honor for me to be recognized with this award for which I thank you. I sat down uh, yesterday in my hotel thinking let me jot down some things that I can share with you. And I started 
I remembered a quote that I heard a few years ago. This was from George Burns, a famous American writer, singer, actor uh, in the 80s and 90s. He lived 100 years, a very wise man. And he said, a great speech is one that has a great beginning, a great ending, and very little space in between. <laughs> I'm going to listen to his wisdom and keep my remarks short. And I simply want to share with you this morning one practice that I followed, just one practice that I followed, that has helped me tremendously, both in my career and in my life. And my hope is that you will do the same practice and benefit as much as I have. The practice is so simple, you may actually miss it. The practice is so simple, you could actually use it starting today. And that is, you must ask for what you want in life. You must ask people that, that can actually give you what you want in life. And you should not let the deterrent thoughts sometimes we have stop you from doing that. It's a simple practice. And what I want to do today is to share with you three of my life experiences that illustrates the point I'm making. My first one has to do with coming to Concordia in Canada. 30 years ago, I was a third year engineering student in CIT in southern India. I stayed in student's hostel. So one evening, I happened to go to the next room and see a fellow hostel student reading a book, a thick book. And the book said GRE, Graduate Record Examination. Now I asked him, what is this book? And he said, well, if you have high scores from this test, you can get, actually go to America for higher studies. And he paused for a moment and said, and if you get high enough score, they would actually pay for it. <laughs> and I asked, why? It made no sense. It really didn't. My mind couldn't fathom. Why would a, a university give funding to a foreign student? Now, fortunately, I asked a few more people, is this true? They did say it's not a hoax, it actually happens. So I convinced my dad to give me sufficient money to apply for five universities, four in the US, one in Canada. And I wrote a letter and made the ask. I asked, could you please provide financial assistance for me? I still vividly remember, maybe a two months or so later, I was in shower. The, me the memory is so vivid. My sister would come and knock on the door. She'd say, hey, I think you got admission from Concordia. By the way, I think you got financial aid also. That was a very short shower. <laughs> so here I am. I, I am so grateful for what Concordia did for me. I couldn't be where I am without that help the Concordia gave me to be here. Remember, it started with an ask. I'm glad I did. Let me share with you a second experience. This uh, happened uh, 15 years ago. I was in a nice, cushy job in a big company. And I decided I would quit and start a company. That's what I did. 
and my family, my wife was so supportive. So I quit and uh, I had an idea. I felt it has a lot of potential, so I believed in it. It turns out that idea required quite a bit of money to get started. We, I estimated about six million dollars. Uh, and I was in a place where I didn't know anybody. I don't know anybody that I, that's an investor. I didn't have any rich uncles. Uh, so I just chose to call people whomever I could come across uh, that could give funding. And I called and called and called probably 50 meetings. Then one fine day, one fine gentleman, Jim Gaither from Sutter Hill. He said, hey, I'll write you a check. I would write you $3 million providing you get $3 million from somebody else to make up the $6 million. Right? Getting the first one is the tougher one. So I, I did end up doing that. Now the thing that's so amazing to me, and that is the beauty of the times we live in, is I am just a temporary worker visa guy in the US. I never met these people one month ago. They are so new. And I just could not think, how did they come to that conclusion? Right? So over the years I've learned, when you truly believe in what you want to do, you have a complete conviction, and your intention is pure, and you express that, people often give you what you want. I'm so glad I did. That gave me the experience to build Jasper into an amazing company that um, employed about 500 employees. That's creating 500 new jobs. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to do that. That's my second experience. My third life experience is the one that is most dear to my heart. And it's the reason why me and my family so much cherish Concordia in Montreal. So I was here in Canada for a year, second year student. I came across a, a wonderful girl. I made the ask. We are married for, uh, uh, for two decades now. We have a wonderful family. We've got two lovely daughters. And I'm so glad they could join me today uh, for this special occasion. Now this made me thinking, there are probably some of you out there in that audience that wanted to make the ask, but are holding back. Today is a fine day for you to make the task. <laughs> and it would be amazing, 20 years from now, one of you st stood right here in this podium and said, hey, 20 years ago I listened to a speaker. He encouraged me to make the ask. <laughs> and I'm married happily now. That's how the world works. It just propagates. My time is up. Uh, let me end with a, a very interesting observation. It so turns out that when you ask and get, when you practice the habit of asking and getting, you invariably acquire the habit of giving as well. You know, it's two sides of the same coin. If there is no getting, there is no giving. And if there is no giving, there is no getting. And it is embedded in our human psyche, thank God, that we are naturally programmed to reciprocate favors. So my dear students, I have a wish for you that you will ask and get 
and reciprocate with the give. Live a rich, colorful life and make this world better for everyone. Thank you. Dr. Mohammed, thank you so much for your inspiring comments. Your humility and your example and the passion that you demonstrate to all of us um, is truly fabulous. And I think it is you express so many of the values that are truly Concordia. And as I think of my own history and many other people who've walked this stage, it makes us very proud. And we congratulate you on today and, and being a doctor of uh, honors at Concordia. Thank you.